Yes, if you would not mind, I'd like to give you this button. Thank you very much. Ms. Rosie Earl Hutton. Good to see you. Mr. President, Charles Rangel. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you. Well, now, what a pleasure. Yeah, that's all right. How are you going? How are you doing? Mr. President. Come on, I'm kind. Glad to see you. Hello. 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 I'll be saying a few words here about how pleased I am to have you join us. It's our pleasure. Come down for this. It's May 10th to the 16th, just say no to Drugs Week. And I know that Nancy is as grateful as I am for your dedication and helping to come back to other groups all across America. She wanted very much to be here today, but she's in Los Angeles where tomorrow she will join young people in that area for a just say no rally. Uh, the lot of work remains. I know what is gratifying to note is that we observe this just say no to drugs week. There are more than 12,000 just say no clubs in schools across the country. And so I hope that all Americans will make a personal commitment to combat substance abuse, and I am pleased to sign into law first SJ Resolution 124 and then the proclamation, uh, which makes this the week. And uh, I thank you all for coming to the, coming to the White House. These will all subsequently be given away as you well, imagine. But I'm going to be honest and make sure that we, you know, we, we can get a. school children all over our state of Florida uh, in recognition of Jeff Saving Week, and I'd like to give it to you. Well, thank you very much. I'm pleased to have you. I show off to Nancy this back on Thursday. I'll be showing off to you. Yeah, that's great. All right. Thank you, Mike. You know how you're so good. She was speaking to our school. I don't know. 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 I go out and work on the office and visit the teachers. Down in uh, Fort Walton Beach, Florida, in my district, uh, Saturday, they had a big parade of Just Say No and Drugs Parade. We hadn't said that, that you had done that without tax, but Just Say No. He has led Just to Say No. <laughs> Leave it to Wrangle and leave it to Charlie. Yeah. Oh, just, just add another word. Yeah. All right. That makes, makes such sense. We need to do that all year in perpetuity. Thank you again, Mr. President. Yeah, I appreciate you here so much. Great honor, Mr. President. Thanks for seeing you. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, I'm two people that keep me out of trouble.
they can. How is the ranch holding up? Just fine. Yeah. You haven't been calling, so I assume the roof isn't leaking. No. Nope. Uh, you know, the story down in our county is that I'm the one that's responsible for White House leaks. <laughs> Different kind of leaks. Yeah. <laughs> one that can be fixed, by the I way. I have to say, for that plastic tile, it just, I tell you, no one, anyone just takes it for granted. It's the, the regular thing. And somehow with aging, it just seems to it's mellower and yeah, mellower. Yeah, you just look mellower. at it and you've got it. Well, we're here to deliver a message to you. We still think you're right in tune. Thank you. I, uh, I remember, do you still have the two plaques on your desk? There's no credit for, uh, there's no limit to what you can accomplish. Yep, if you don't care. And, uh, and do you have the other one in Latin? Yep. That's what I remember. <laughs> yes. As a matter of fact, I thought it gave me a necktie just the other day. Nice looking tie, but in Latin, like these stripes are across. He is illegitimate son of Cumbra, Cumbra. No, I think it's, I think it's the don't let same. The, don't let the bastards grab it. Just some of the Oh, well, thank you. Oh, well, thank you very much. much. Thank you. We uh, will be meeting with Gary Jones uh, tomorrow morning, or Thursday morning, having breakfast. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll give him our update on the availability of land and all the kinds of things for the library. So. We're not going to let Southern California be embarrassed with what Northern California is. Right. Well, I think the idea of not tying it to any one institution is. Yeah. And it's the library has to be for the people, for the administration is for the Academicians can come. Good to see you. Say hi to Mrs. R. I sure will. Okay, we're we'll off. Thank you. Thank you very much. We handle a lot of mail, isn't it? We'll do some more. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Today, pretty good. You know, I know you enjoy meeting our master uh, 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 winner. Come over here, Charlie. Come over here, Charlie. Mr. Adams. 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 Mr. Congratulations. Thank you. Sir. That's sir. Thank you. This is your cousin, cousin from Hawaii. Oh. Hey. Okay. Come to do this. Stay with the people. Thank you very much. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. We do this to him now. Right. Right. I think you have some mercy, Mr. President. As a matter of fact, we have, we're almost related because my father's life was shoes. Oh, really? That's correct. <laughs> he uh, managed a shoe store in the Great Depression. Put it, finally put it out on the road, just driving around the state selling shoe sales. That's what makes it go. <laughs> but I remember as a boy seeing him sit there in the evening doing his correspondence school work with Dr. Scholes. Correspondence school. Great. Well, thank you very much. What you're doing for trade is excellent. Thank you. Well, I appreciate thank you. it. Congratulations. It's beautiful. This is such a tight contest. We have a second round of luck for this. Are you strolling? He's on the robbery. Sir, sure. it's a pleasure. Just come back this way a little bit. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is, this is uh, Joshua. Uh, this is Joshua. Ernest Foster, Foster, and Dwight Thelma. Hello. Congratulations. Oh, my God. I'm always looking at you. I always want to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, these are our grand winners. They had great competition, 15 million small business, and they're the four best to be fine. Well, <laughs> the press has left us alone here. I think we've got just some souvenirs to hand out, but don't paint with those plaques of yours. Oh. 
Okay, all the winners get the, uh, the men get the key rings and uh, you'll get the uh, stick pen. Oh, oh. you? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now you'll get, she gets the bookmark. That's right under here. Oh, there. Great. Thank you very great. much. Thank you very much. Key ring. And a stick pen. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Two more stick pins. Thank you. Thank you very much. And just souvenirs with the presidential seal on there. Thank you. Thank Wonderful seal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is a great congratulation. To, I really mean it to all of you. Because I think this is, this is really what America is all about. Entrepreneurship. Independent business. And out of those 13 and a half million new jobs that have been created in these last five years of recovery and expansion, uh, I think about 80% of them were created by independent business, not by the great corporations and so forth. So I invite you all and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to have one group photo before everyone leaves, Mr. Oh, President. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Your leadership you made our job a lot easier. Well, thank you, sir. Well, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you again. This was a great honor for us. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. Sorry, it has to be so Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I've always had a dream. I'm very nice to you. I'm very nice to you. I'm very nice to you. I'm very San Francisco. Thank you. Well, it's good to see just one minute. A couple of souvenirs, pins with a presidential mm -hmm. seal. Thank you very much. Not to worry. <laughs> There's a special department up there. Uh, I've been doing my job. I know, and we're all doing it. Yeah, and we're also proud, and everybody sends their best wishes. We're 100% of nature. All of us in Let's Sacramento. Let's see. Thank you very much for letting us come. Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, I'm so glad to see you. What a privilege. Well, it's good to see you. Yeah. You know, it's best to press when you've ever had in all the family, all the family. Not all the show. All the family. Turn around here. Ah. Well, it's important, but getting a hug is more so for me. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're a souvenir. Oh, you know, this the last time I was here, making use of the souvenir. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, take this quick. President, this is Mr. Marvin Greenberg. 
Mr. Yes. Mr. President, nice to see you again. Good again. Thank you. It's good to see you again. Thanks for seeing me. Well, pleased Thank to you. see you. But we didn't have When you left the Lupin? Well, nice to have you here. Thank you very much. Hey, Mr. President. Hi. How are you? I just got back from Moscow at midnight last night. Oh, boy. Good talk there. Hello. How are you? Nice to see you. Linda Watt. Good to see you. Morning, Mr. President. Ted Brophy. Nice to be here. Thank you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Good morning, Mr. President. John Bradley, TNT. Good to see you. Good morning, Mr. President. Richard Moose. Good luck to you. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. President. I'm Frank Sarab. Nice to see you. How are you? President Barry McKay. Nice to meet you. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good morning, Mr. Honored to meet you. Well, nice to see you. You're this way up. This committee is put together for that purpose, to try to help investments and export products. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, good squeeze in here, someplace. <laughs> I know he's going to want us all to squeeze in. <laughs> okay, now if everybody can see me, you'll be in the picture. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> good news. Exist. I always, every time one of these group photos, I like to tell about an experience I had with a brand new in Hollywood. You know, there's sometimes occasions where a group of movie stars and so forth get together and have a group picture for some reason or other. Frederick Marsh, a great star at the time, would always, instead of trying, everybody knew the kind of age of the middle, he would always get way over here. Finally, the new in the business, I said, Why, well, you're a big star. And he said, you're always holding everything in. He said, no one reads the entire caption, but they do when we start reading the that. My first real acting. You have a disadvantage there, my friend, that you have to take center stage on that. Thank you very much for saying that. Well, listen, thank you all of you for what you're doing. You want to go the night very much. Oh, well, 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 thank you again, Mr. President. I think he really needs you. He's holding his head. All right. Ray? Yes? You aren't going to inform me if there are any great big surprises in your meeting that you just left. No, <laughs> well, I, I can tell you about it in just a couple minutes. I've had a long talk with the three. Long, three hours. And, uh, I have messages for him or him for me, but he has a lot of questions about how to get rid of these roadblocks. And uh, I said, well, just from what I glean, you know, from what I hear in the papers, that it seems to me you ought to get rid of this problem of where you're going to put those extra missiles, where you're going to plan it, because it's going to be a big problem. The hardest. Yeah. It's a harder problem to figure out where to plant missiles than it is to where to dig them up. And he was very interested. I said, look, I'm just giving you a businessman's point of view. Why don't you put him in a warehouse in escrow and avoid that problem so we don't have to wrestle with it for two or three months? He was very interested in that. He, uh, Mr. President, Coach Jack Harbaugh. Well, Coach, what a great there. thrill this is for me. Well, thank you very much for taking the time. Well, pleased to do it. Sorry you weren't here with your family when they were here before. This is through spring practice, but for you to take the time to visit with them, a tremendous impression. They were well, thrilled. Well, I understand you're doing a little recruiting. If you find any six foot eight, two hundred eighty pound players that run four eights, send them to Pitt. Um, no, but I know of a six foot 
three quarter inch, 185 pound right guard will be free in a couple of years. <laughs> we'll take you. <laughs> you come on, we'll take you. All right. Well, thank you very much. Well, we do appreciate it. And uh, I know when your wife thanked me for the pen and pencil, it said, but this is just a little souvenir of it. Here. Well, again, the, the, the time you took with them, they talk about it. Everybody in Cleveland and Pittsburgh knows about it. Thank you very much. Good, and, good, and luck. good luck to you. May everything go well for you. Thank you. Thank you.